welcome to Everybody Yoga with Megan. I am Megan, and this is Mr. Jefferson. He is in for the yogas today. He has his days. Um, so today's meditation is about the concept that we are all different souls from the same source. Therefore, we are all interconnected and related. And if we are having malice towards another, then actually we are having malice towards ourselves. Um, it's kind of a global thought, just a way to look at how we're interacting with others and judging them. It's probably a mirror of how we're interacting with ourselves and judging ourselves. Um, so just something to keep in mind, right? Something to be aware of as we interact internally and externally. Um, I'm having crazy swelling, so I'm in my compression socks because I'm 90 and like whatever. Uh, so let's get started in child's pose. As always, I love to have my blocks handy because we just never know. And settle in. I'm going to move up here so I don't have a dog moving in my face. Settle into your breath right off the bat. Press up to all fours, and let's take three cow-cat pose. Make your way into puppy pose, so bring the knees to touch one another, walk the hands out, lift the hips, drop the chest. take some rolls here of the torso. So you're just going to come out and around. And then the other way. I feel like I don't have my flow here today. I don't know what's happening with these ribs. That's why we do it. And downward facing dog. We're going to roll out through the feet. Bring your feet to your hands. Come to a halfway lift. Pause here. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Forward fold or ragdoll. I'm going to take a forward fold here, working on pulling my torso down towards my leg. Roll up to standing. Arms come overhead. Bend your knees a little bit. Clasp your hands behind your back. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Lift your heart. And back to neutral. Arms down, palms forward. Close your eyes. Samasthiti. Inhale, lift up, look up. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift. 
high push up. Low push up. We're going to take a different pose here than normal. Lift up just a little bit. Take your right hand, thread it across your chest, and then drop your forehead down. Left arm reaches long. So this is like half bow tie pose. Press back up. We're going to switch sides. Left arm crosses the body. Forehead reaches down. Right arm long. Pressing back towards center, downward facing dog. Feet to hands, halfway lift. Gorilla pose. Palm of the hands going to come under the feet. Bend the knees if you must. Tuck the chin to your chest. Tailbone lifts, wrists push down. Untuck, halfway lift. Keep the spine straight, bend the knees about 10%, rise up to standing. Clasp the hands opposite pinky on the outside now behind you. Take a little baby back bend, squeeze the shoulder blades, collarbones pulling apart. Back to the center, so I'm speak the he pause here. Inhale, lift up, look up. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, plant your hands, high push up. Lower down. We're going to take that same half bow tie here, lifting up, right arm crosses. Work to drop the forehead down. Some people, that's very easy. Good job. If I could figure out where to move my breasts, maybe I could put my head down. I don't know how to do this. I, it's like golf. Like, what the heck? I wonder if that would be flagged on YouTube. I don't know. And other side. I feel like I just made this awkward for you. Sorry, guys. Coming back to center. Downward facing dog. Bring your feet to your hands, halfway lift. Right hand to left ankle or knee, rotate, twist. Back to center, other side. I think I verbally did the opposite that my body did, but it's the same thing. We're doing both sides. It's okay. Back to the center, 
Roll up to standing. This time the opposite of what we did last time. Last thing to lift is the head. Ooh, yeah. So I'm asking the E, arms down, palms forward, breathe. Without really moving, open your eyes, look down, check out your feet. Are they at 12 o'clock? My right foot was kind of doing its own little dance over here. So just come back into center. We're setting our feet on true north. We're going forward. Our feet know where to go so our body can follow. Our palms are forward in much the same way. We're accepting this new momentum, this new energy into our bodies when we stand in this way. Left arm is going to tuck behind your back, coming up to the shoulder blades. Right arm comes over. If you can hold fingers, good job. Work to make a fist. If you're like me, we just hang out here. We enjoy life. Inhale, right knee up. Hinge forward. Keep the bind in your arms. Coming into a bound airplane. Open your hips, bound half moon. And come back up. Release your arms, shake it out. All we can do is try, right? Right arm comes behind the back. I have to actually manually assist my arm in doing this. It doesn't like the left just naturally go up. Um, it's a tightness there. Mm -hmm. Left arm over, left leg up. Bound airplane. Oh, there goes my hip. And release, Woo! run into the wall, whatever happens, check it out. <sighs> Sama Sita He again, arms down, palms forward, breathe. Notice the shoulders, notice the chest. Working on unlocking some sticky points in unique ways. Take your arms to a T and then hug yourself right over left. Stack your elbows. Right leg's gonna lift up and come to eagle legs. If you wanna take full eagle arms, that's fine. But I want you to plug your shoulders to the wall behind you and have your elbows shoulder level. And release, we're gonna to come to the other side. The left arm's gonna hug over the right. The left leg's gonna wrap around the right. I know. 
inhale, breath. Inhale, lift up, look up. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift. Bend the knees. We're just going to come right onto the back of you. I guess you could sit without using your hands. That would have been a variation there. Knees bent. Let the low back soften and settle here. Not punishing the body. Right? We're welcoming it as it is in today's form. As you lay, I want you to tuck your shoulder blades underneath you so the back of your neck is long. And then we're going to lift both arms up like zombie arms. Just reaching for the ceiling. And I want you to now reach and lift the shoulders and then plug them back in and down. Reach and lift. Back in and down. Reach and lift, in and down, two more. And then re-tuck them, let the neck be long, arms hang low by the body. Supta Baddha Konasana, keep the hands low if you can. If you want to bring them in, that's okay, but we want to keep that length in the back of the neck with the scapula flat on the ground. As you're ready, come to your Savasana. Accepting yourself exactly as you are and accepting all of the people in your world exactly as they are. Acknowledging that we are not separate. Come back into your body, making your way to a fetal position, pausing for a few breaths. Press yourself up to a simple seat. Inhale your hands to heart center. In a place in me that offers kindness to myself and therefore to others, acknowledges that same place in me. And together we say, Namaste. Thank you so much for practicing yoga with me today. And I hope to see you again soon.